Hi everyone, this is VK. Welcome to Smid World. Here I am with another video. In this video, we will see uh, the importance of uh, friction liners in uh, built bucket elevators and uh, how to replace the liners. Drive pulley. You can see a picture drive pulley with uh, friction liners. The shaft of the drive pulley is supported on two pillow block bearing housings in self aligning rotor bearing screw to the consoles on the bucket elevator head exterior and uh, lebron seals on the uh, driving shaft provide a dust right seating of the bucket elevator head the dry pulley is equipped with uh, replaceable friction linings and a fixture on the shaft with locking assemblies friction liners in built bucket elevators several uh, purposes first one is a uh, improved grip Friction liners provide a textured surface, increasing the friction between the liner and the belt, reducing slippage and ensuring stable operation. Second point, reduced wear. The liners protect the elevator casing from abrasive materials, minimize the wear and damage. Third one, easy cleaning. Friction liners can be designed for easy removal and cleaning, reducing maintenance downtime. Fourth one is noise reduction. Runners can help reduce noise generated by the belt and buckets. Fifth one, increased safety. By preventing slippage and reducing wear, friction liners contribute to a safer working environment. Sixth one, extended equipment life. Friction liners help extend the life of the belt, buckets and elevator casing. The improved material flow. Liners can be designed to facilitate smooth material flow, reducing congestion and improving elevator efficiency. Friction liners are the crucial component in belt bucket elevators, ensuring reliable operation, minimizing the maintenance and optimizing overall performance. The short hardness of the friction liners in belt bucket elevators are typically ranges from 60 to 90 on the shore A scale. This range provides a good balance between a grip, higher shore hardness value between 80 to 90 offer better grip and uh, traction reducing the uh, likelihood of spillage uh, sorry uh, likelihood of uh, slippage and uh, wear on the belt second point is the wear resistance the lower shore hardness values 60 to 80 provide better wear resistance reducing the risk of liner wear and uh, damage from abrasive materials uh, then third point is flexibility the mid-range shore hardness 70 to 80 offers flexibility allowing the liner to absorb impacts and uh, vibrations uh, reducing the risk of the cracking and damage common uh, shore hardness values for uh, uh, friction liners in uh, belt bucket elevators uh, 60 to 70 shore a the general purpose application suitable for most uh, uh, materials uh, Shore hardness between 70 to 80. Heavy duty applications suitable for abrasive materials. And the shore hardness between 80 to 90. The high friction applications uh, suitable for uh, very abrasive or uh, sticky materials. Uh, you people have to keep in mind that the optional shore hardness uh, may vary depending on specific application requirements such as uh, material characteristics and uh, elevator design and operating conditions it's uh, essential to uh, consult with the manufacturer or a technical expert to determine the most suitable shore hardness for your specific application and uh, friction liners in belt back elevators are typically made from materials with a high uh, friction coefficients wear resistance and uh, durability common materials are uh, used in include rubber na natural or uh, synthetic rubber often you with uh, added abra abrasives like uh, silica or uh, alumina provides good grip and wear resistance second point is polyurethane and pu uh, pu liners offer high friction abrasive resistance and uh, flexibility making them suitable for heavy duty applications then uh, polyethylene third point is uh, polyethylene 
PE lenses are durable, resistant to abrasion and provide good friction, making them suitable for uh, medium duty applications. Uh, fourth point is the ceramic. Ceramic lenses of, uh, offer ceramic lenses offer high wear resistance, corrosion resistance, and uh, uh, non uh, withstand high temperatures, making them suitable for uh, demanding applications. Uh, composite materials. Uh, some lenses uh, combine with like uh, rubber, PU, and uh, ceramics to achieve optimal performances. Uh, when selecting a material, uh, consider factors like uh, material characteristics like abrasive, uh, stickiness, and temperature, elevated design and configuration, and uh, operating conditions, maintenance requirements, cost, and durability. It's essential to consult with the manufacturer or a technical expert to determine the most suitable material for your specific application. How to fit the friction lining on the drive drum? The friction lining on the bucket elevator consists of several segments uh, which are screw mounted on, on the drive drum. You can see in the figure according to drum diameter, Z25 segments are fitted. Each segment consists of steel base plate on uh, onto which a profile rubber lining is vulcanized. The segments are built in accordance with the drive drum radius and allow replacement directly in the machine without having to remove the bucket elevator belt on the drive drum. You can see in the picture part 1 drive uh, drum body, part 2 is a fixing friction lining. Part 3 is a bolt with nut and spring lock part shop.
बोटिंग का बहुत बैग गया हो बैग चेंज कर देंगे बैग तो 20 पीस पे चेंज करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि आइल वेल ज़्यादा चल रहा है ना पानी ज़्यादा चल रहा है